Perhaps the Bermuda Triangle wouldn't have attracted so much attention if only ships had been its victims. Indeed, this part of the Atlantic Ocean has always been a very dangerous place for sailors. However, the whole problem with the situation lies in the fact that planes have also disappeared without a trace in this area. So what is the reason for the disappearance of aircraft, ships and people? The reasons to explain it are quite numerous. They range starting with UFO abductions and hidden passageways in space to parallel universes and ending with more mundane factors like severe weather conditions. There is another interesting fact. The Bermuda Triangle's seafloor has one of the most complex topographies in the Atlantic Ocean. A massive depression with a depth reaching 8 kilometers cuts across the triangle. This in itself does not explain the lost ships but it makes it very difficult to detect the sunken ships or planes that have fallen into the ocean. The mystery of the Bermuda Triangle may have yet another explanation. The warm sea current of the Gulf Stream runs lengthwise along the east coast of the United States, very close to the area where ships have disappeared. The Gulf Stream may be the reason why so many sunken ships have never been found. Their wreckages could have been carried away by the undertow hundreds of kilometers from the place of a supposed sinking. Then what could be the primary cause of the accidents? One of the most plausible theories asserts that the numerous ships that have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle could have become the victims of a rogue wave, or as it is also called, a killer wave, which can reach a height of 30 meters. Rogue waves are quite real, and pose a considerable danger to sailors even these days. Unlike tsunamis, rogue waves are not formed as a result of natural disasters, but literally out of nowhere. These kinds of killer waves can appear even under relatively favorable weather conditions. They form because ocean waves are fundamentally unstable. A wave can begin to grow by drawing in the water of neighboring waves. It collects the energy of its neighbors, gains momentum and becomes very tall. The difficulty lies in the fact that it's not possible to predict the appearance of such waves. And those ships that did not have time to send an SOS signal may have been caught by surprise by this sort of wave. This version is the more deserving of consideration, given that the natural conditions of the Bermuda Triangle are conducive to the appearance of these waves. But the killer wave explanation isn't applicable when it comes to missing planes. There is an opinion that this area is subjected to charged particles, which are formed as a result of solar storms. If so, then these particles could cause damage to the electronic equipment of aircraft and ships. On the other hand, the Bermuda Triangle is located near the equator and should not be strongly affected by such storms. After all, as is commonly known, the influence of solar storms is mostly felt in the polar regions. Also, seismic activity on the ocean floor of the triangle can cause magnetic disturbances, which in turn affect the operation of navigation equipment. Yet another reason of the odd behavior of the ocean in the region of the Bermuda Triangle that is responsible for the disappearance of ships and aircraft may be located on the seabed and be of a tectonic nature. Geological faults and decaying seaweed result in emissions of methane and hydrogen sulfide. As a general rule, these gases dissolve in the seawater, but when the atmospheric pressure drops, they can reach the surface of the ocean. Rising methane and hydrogen sulfide result in a decrease in the density of the water, and when this happens, a ship will rapidly descend to the bottom as the density of the water becomes less than the density of the ship. In and of itself, this theory does not explain the disappearance of aircraft, but here too, tectonic processes may be the first link in a chain of future developments. Frequent underwater earthquakes not only lead to methane emissions, but also result in the formation of infrasound, which in turn refracts radio waves. This in particular can explain the malfunction of electronic equipment and the disorientation of pilots. Infrasound, by the way, is generated not only by the Earth's crust during earthquakes, it can be caused by lightning strikes and strong winds, 
infrasonic aerodynamic noise during storms and hurricanes in which people on ships and planes may find themselves. Infrasound is fraught with yet another threat. It can have a destructive effect on the psyche and the overall well-being of a person. In other words, finding themselves subjective to infrasound, pilots and sailors can lose their minds and commit rash acts. This in particular can explain the ships found in the Bermuda Triangle that were abandoned by their crews. It wasn't until the second half of the 20th century that technology made it possible to conduct a search in the ocean depths. And even in that instance, it's very difficult to find a submerged ship. The search for airplanes and ships that went missing many years ago without specific coordinates is comparable to the proverbial needle in a haystack. Human error combined with natural phenomena has been documented as the most common cause of plane crashes or shipwrecks and consequently is the most convincing explanation for the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. This is supported by the fact that in recent years the number of lost ships and aircraft has dropped dramatically as transportation technology has improved significantly. Or are we wrong perhaps? After all, the seas and oceans as well known guard their secrets very closely. Yes, sir. Not that. 